<coughs> My name is Randy Cross. I own the product line for what we call our fabric and infrastructure products within Avaya Networking. So that's where the fabric piece comes from, the SBB piece <coughs> comes from. It's um, most of our core switching. So just to set you up for what, you're gonna t what we're going to talk about today and what you're going to hear. First of all, I'll do a quick introduction, just tell you a little bit about Avaya, about who we are in Avaya Networking and some of the things we're doing and moving forward with. Then my friend uh, Mr. Umbehagen over here will come up <coughs> and dive into all the fun detail of our Fabric Connect solution, which is based on SPB. After that, where we're really going to focus is, you know, Paul's my, my propeller head, but we're going to bring up a couple more folks, Darren Giacomini, Ed Kohler, to talk about applications of the technology from more of a business use case perspective, how we're actually deploying it, what we're doing with it, how it's solving problems. <clears throat> and then we'll close out the day with a quick discussion on and demo on what we're doing and where we're going with SDN. So I've been at Avaya two, two and a half years now. I'm guessing that when you saw Avaya on the schedule, you probably thought the same thing I did a couple years ago when I started talking to them about coming over. Why do I want to talk about voice and video, right? We're well known for UC, for CC, with very strong business there, very strong presence there, right? And it's typically the first thing that comes to mind. But the fact of the matter is, we're an end-to-end -end solution provider. Right? There are only two vendors in the industry that can really deliver the entire stack from end to end, and we're one of those vendors. On top of that, we have a very strong services business. So beyond just speaking to our customers, speaking to experts in the industry and things like that, to get a feel for what the issues are out there, what we should build, how we should build it, we actually have nine global knocks where our managed services group manages over a million Ethernet ports, manages nearly three million voice lines around the world, right? So these guys are living and breathing it day in and day out. They have a cloud service, right? These are our, our data centers, our NOx, delivering services to customers over public networks. And they're operating like any other customer would be. So if you think, uh, you think customers are brutal when they come in and give you feedback, when your own guys call up from across the hall and scream at you, they really tell you what's wrong and what's going on, where you can improve things, how to make it better. And so we really take that feedback very seriously and use that to <coughs> incorporate into what we're doing. Now, from the products and services perspective, makes us about a $5 billion company. We have over 300,000 customers. You know, we do that being one of the largest US patent holders out there. 101 new products released in 2013, right? So we're on a serious development cycle and we're in over 95% of the Fortune 500 companies. Now, I just told you a minute ago, we're a top vendor for UC and CC, right? And so, you know, in the head you kind of go, well, that's where you're in all those fortune companies, right? But the truth is the networking aspect of Avaya came from the acquisition of Nortel assets. Nortel was the second largest deployed vendor out there in the industry, right? Before things shifted with the bubble. So in that fortune 500 base, we have tons of installed base of networking assets, right? So we have the experience globally across all industry. Now, that's the company. Let's look at Avaya Networking for a second and what we're focused on. Our goal in life is actually quite simple. Simplicity. I have a quote up here. <clears throat> Simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication. Does anyone know who that quote is from? So if you were to do a search on it, tell you it's Leonardo da Vinci, right? Thousands of pages will come up with this quote from Leonardo da Vinci, right? It's in books, it's in movies, it's all over the place. But if you dig, it's not in any of his workbooks, you can't actually find anything 
Because there's no citation. Simply popular culture, right? All these people somewhere, somebody posted it and someone else believed it and it just proliferated from there, right? And why do I put that up there? Because that's what our industry is like these days, right? So, you know, obviously you guys post your bios, look through that stuff. Got some CCIEs in here. I've got CC, CCIEs myself, right? So for years, we've been taught and told this is how you do things. This is the right way, right? And it's all complexity, right? Layer upon layer upon layer of protocols. Paul makes fun of me all the time because I have this strange love affair with BGP confederations, right? It's just fun. Right? I mean, it's complex. It's weird. There aren't a lot of people that really know how to go out and do that. It's still so twisted. So it just tickles my fancy, right? But it's difficult. He's, we're at the point, it's like, yes, hello, I'm CCIA number 4117, and I've been complexity free now for two years. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where we're at, right? We're not the only ones looking at simplicity, though. I'll borrow a slide from our friends over at the ONF, right? When you talk about SDN, what is it that everyone's talking about? Top of the list, getting rid of network complexity. Getting rid of multi-touch configuration, again, complexity, right? Getting rid of or dealing with multi-vendor technologies, again, complexity, right? So everybody understands that it's out there. We're all looking at it from a slightly different angle, trying to figure out how to address it. I shouldn't say all, but most of us that are trying to change the paradigm, right? And so as we go through today, what we're going to ask you guys to do is just Rethink the way you think, right? Look at things just a little bit differently. Right? Kind of put aside all those things we've been taught over the years. The fact that I can start down at the bottom and I can configure spanning tree and then I can pile on OSPF and then I can pile on BGP and RSVPTE and I can just keep going up the stack until I make it crazy insane, right? And consider the possibility of we, if doing this a different way. Now, while we're going to get into kind of the foundation of what we're doing today from a technology perspective, I want to just take a minute to talk about, you know, where we're going with all this and, and what we see is if I'm going to sit here and talk about ONF and I'm going to talk about SDN, then, you know, what do we see in that landscape and how are we thinking about that? So first off, when we get to the last piece of the session, uh, so Neil's going to come up here with me and we're going to talk a little bit more about what we're doing today with Software Defined Data Center. It's going to be based on kind of this piece of middleware here, right? And within this middleware, you've got a couple things that we're doing today. So we've got our own controller piece, or at least the beginnings of our controller, and we've got the OpenStack plugin, right? And so Obviously, OpenStack is OpenStack, right? You've got Neutron, Nova, Cinder. You have all those great things so we can orchestrate across different elements. From our perspective, we've taken tools from in-house and we're looking at this, just like I said earlier, from a full stack perspective. So there are a few key tools that kind of make this important for us. One is something we call identity engines. It's a policy engine, right? And Paul's going to hit on that more as he goes into SPB and talks about what we did in Sochi for the Olympics, right? You'll also hear some about it from the other speakers as well as they dig into their pieces. Another piece that's in here is something called a via diagnostic server that does performance monitoring, right? Performance monitoring is important when you really get into simplicity and automation because at the end of the day, Right? If you want to go out and talk to an enterprise and you want to go out and do something for them, those guys, you know, they're not, the network's not their business. IT is important. It enables their business. But their business is educating young minds, saving lives, making t-shirts, whatever it may be. Right? So you want to focus, if they're going to have IT resources, you want to focus them on other more strategic tasks than kind of the day-to-day -day pieces. Right? And that's what the simplicity allows. So all this ties back into kind of a final piece there for us, which is something called collaboration environment. 
Collaboration environment is really just an SDK toolkit, right? And what it allows us to do is, if we're gonna talk about integrating the infrastructure and the applications, it provides an interface there where we can just take in Java messages, use any Java message we can get as trigger, and then write snap-ins that allows us to go and do anything we want, right? So there are all kinds of different um, things from an application perspective and an infrastructure perspective that we have coders working on some internally, right? We ran a contest with our SEs to come up with good ideas, as well as anyone out there from an ISV or partner or anything else that wants to write this or even customer. Now, up here you also see open daylight. The reason it's here, we're not doing this now, we're tracking it, we're watching the evolution, where is it going, right? We've put the structure in all of this so that we can add anything we need, right? So we've also got this RESTful API up here. So we have our own open API that you could write to for whatever you want to do from a custom perspective. But also, you know, as we look at this world of SDN, right? At the end of the day, what's an SDN for? It's for presenting an interface to the business in order to do something, right? Have an application. And as we look at it, it's not going to be this one simple monolithic thing that everybody has the same SDN, right? I mean, we're not good at that in our industry. Everybody wants to kind of make their own toy and play with it. So what you're gonna end up with is as you get into real life, you're gonna have multiple kind of SDN solutions that sit out there and have to interface together, have to federate together, right? And so we're building a structure that allows us to make sure that happens through our own open APIs, through the ability to add other interfaces that are gonna be out there. And then you see kind of down outside of the controller, things like OpenFlow, right? And that becomes very important because you're going to have other devices. So just look at the service chain, right? Maybe I have OpenFlow flow balancers. Maybe I'm using OpenFlow on other devices in the service chain, whether it's security or something else, right? Maybe it's I'm using OpenFlow with my V switches. We see OpenFlow as a very powerful tool that provides a gateway interface into the fabric from at the edge of the network, right? So I could very easily then have those OpenFlow devices surrounding me, have OpenFlow write directly into what it wants from me, kind of the black box there is the fabric, and then my fabric is adaptable enough that it can move on and provide those resources provide that application to the OpenFlow devices outside. So, there is the section at the end of the day on SDN, if we want to talk about it more. Um, Sunil will be doing the demo. I'll have this slide back up if we want and we can talk some more about those pieces. But for now, I want to make sure these guys get their time in. They have lots of great content. Like I said, we're going to start with Paul next. Paul's going to deep dive into the technology of Fabric Connect, talk about SPB, which is of course both an IEEE and an IETF standard. After that, we're gonna hand over to Darren and then to Ed. Again, they're gonna talk about this, you know, not from a, a pure technology perspective, but from a use case perspective. Because when customers come to us, they're not saying, oh, please solve my network complexity problem. <coughs> customers come to us and say, man, I've gotta get 10,000 video cameras out and every time I get to camera number 501, the network falls apart on me. How do I address that, right? So they're gonna talk about the technology from very use case specific applications. And then we're gonna end the day again with that SDN demo and with Sunil up here with me. <coughs>